Warding is one of those crucial things you're always told to do. Get vision, use pink wards, yellow wards, red trinket. But let me tell you this, most of the time you go ward, I bet you have no meaning behind the ward. Whether you're iron or challenger, we start to become complacent about where we're warding and why, and just put them down anywhere. When you start to become complacent about wards, you start to die to ganks more often. You start to lose dragon, you start to lose baron, and ultimately, you start losing your games. I guarantee you, by the end of this video, you're no longer gonna lose games ever because of warding. I mean, you might lose because of other stuff, but that's a whole nother video entirely. Now, before we get started, let's ask ourselves, what exactly is a ward for? It's to gain information. So wards are gonna be generally to gain information. That's all it is, right? And at the end of the day, what is League of Legends? It's a game of decision-making, right? So why do we need information? We can use this information to make better decisions. That's all it is, that's all it is. So when you put down a ward, ask yourself, is this gonna give me information to make a better decision about what I wanna do? Boom, there you go. Better ward placement in the video. Not really, but let's continue. So now we know the reason to what wards are for. Let's ask why we ward. Um, one simple thing is we want to prevent ganks, right? Every laner wants to ward to prevent ganks. And even if you're a jungler, sometimes you ward so that the laners don't die to ganks and they do anyway, hashtag jungle life. But let's actually say that we are going to ward to stop ganking, right? If you're a bot laner, you're most likely gonna ward there, right, in the tri bush. Now, obviously, depending on which side, you're gonna ward differently, but follow the example just for the sake of simplicity. We're gonna ward probably top here or, you know, something like that. And if we're top lane, we're probably gonna ward, I don't know, maybe like right here, maybe down there. Um, that's pretty much what, you know, let's just do blue side. So, you know, if we're on blue side, we're probably gonna ward right there, something like that. This is your common ward spots for every single laner. Now, let me ask you this. Why do we ward? We wanna, you, you just, one of the reasons is I don't wanna die to a gank. If I'm top lane, I don't want the jungler coming to clap my cheeks. Period. So now you as a laner just have it all figured out, right? You understand, bro, you're not clapping my cheeks. I'm unclappable. But most of the time, we just ward. We don't ward for a reason. If their jungler is Kane, these wards aren't gonna do anything. If their jungler is Rek'Sai, these wards aren't gonna do anything. If their jungler is Hecarim, oh, dude, he about to run right over those wards and you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Remember, you have to ward with intent. If you understand what you're gonna get ganked by, it's easier to ward for the game. If I know their jungler is Udyr and he started bottom, he's going to full clear. He needs to be level four before he pops out. Some Udyrs are crazy. No, jungler is sometimes a little mental and they will pop out before but commonly they will get level four first to have all their abilities. Now we know they full clear. One thing to think about is the scuttle crab spawns at 3.30, right? So if the scuttle crab spawns at 3.30 and the jungler wants to full clear, most likely the jungler is going to A, do the crab at 3.30 or B, gank you at 3.30. If we're bot lane and we understand that Udyr is a full clear jungler, you're not in any danger because he's topside. You don't even have to see him. You know, unless this guy decides to do some random boom bam shamalam, loop back around for some reason and gank you, A, he's crazy, B, he's a mastermind. Either way, be scared. At the end of the day, you're not gonna get ganked, so you shouldn't ward. You're wasting your wards. Now, let's just say you understand, because you watched this video, that Udyr is gonna be topside. Well, who else can you ward for? That mid laner. What if it's Katarina? Maybe she's gonna roam down. So instead of warding that tri bush that you think they're all gonna walk through, ward maybe where Katarina would walk through. So maybe as a support or an ADC, just kind of walk through and put a ward right there. If you wanna get really good, put a ward right here, right? Because a ward right there means that no matter what, she's gonna walk over the ward. She's gonna walk over through here. You'll see her when she walks to the middle or you're gonna walk, you know, see her walk through there right? You're using your ward with better intent. All right, so let's back it up. Let's relax. That was a lot of information. I know. So we understand that we want a ward for a specific reason. If I'm going to die to a gank, we want a ward for whatever is going to gank us. If we know it's not the jungler, ward for the mid laner. If we know it's a Shaco, well, we could probably ward somewhere where Shaco might pop over the wall. Maybe like right there, right? That's a good spot. Maybe you could ward his red to see what he decides to do after. 
these are things you can ward for because these type of champions have these tendencies. If it's a fast champion, you can't ward close to your lane no matter which laner you are because by the time you see them, it's too late. They are fast. Think of Hecarim, think of Lilia. These are really fast champions, which means that by the time you see them, you're dead. You want to ward a little bit further out so that way you can see them coming and you know avoid the gank entirely. So again, if you're warding for that gank, if you're warding to not die, you want to ward for what you're going to get killed by. There's no reason to have a default ward location or a default warding plan. Think about what's going to get you and then ward for what's going to get you. It's that easy. Let's move on to the second reason of why we ward, right? Most of the time we want to ward for objectives. So let's put that down. Objectives. Right? What are objectives? For the most part, early game especially, it's going to be more or less dragon slash uh, grubs. You know, that's pretty much what it's going to be. Period. Nothing else. Dragon grubs. You're going to ward for that, right? Now, this one's going to be a little bit creative because you're going to have to learn the junglers and sometimes top laners like Yorick, thirsty selves for them grubs. They're going to have to learn that these type of champions tend to do these type of things. Again, we're talking about tendencies. So if we're thinking about Udyr or Shivana, what are they gonna do? Dragon, right? So no matter what role you are, unless you're top, good luck, no matter what role you are, maybe ward for the dragon and think about we're gonna fight for that dragon. Remember, wards are to gain information. What is League of Legends? Decision making. Ward to gain information on dragon, if you notice Shivana doing it, Udyr doing it, and you know you're strong, then you can use that information to go get them and get yourself a free kill and maybe your team a free dragon. You're warding for a reason. I don't think y'all hear me. Y'all not giving me an amen. You're warding for a reason. You want to make sure that every ward you place is has a specific meaning behind it. Now let's move on to the mid game, mid and late game. So mid and late game, for the most part, what are you warding? rewarding for picks like literally this is going to be the best time to get picks or to sneak objectives if you're losing you're going to need to sneak objectives or find picks if you're winning i mean you obviously just want to find picks or maybe look for a fight on the objective anyway like it doesn't really matter but you want to have the vision for a reason so let's just say we're red team right you know we're red team they're all raging bro my mid lane sucks jungle diff top diff whatever you know they're doing that thing right and you're losing and your support is just not warding anywhere in the jungle at all you know um your pinks are getting taken away maybe your whole entire team we're not gonna, we're not going to blame the support here your whole entire team is not warding properly every time they put a ward down it doesn't really do anything well what happens when a winning team decides to do an objective? They usually all go for it. Let's just say, okay, we're gonna do Baron. Look at them, oh my God, they're doing Baron. Don't look at it as a negative thing, especially when you're losing, because this means that bot side is free. So whether you're the jungler, the mid laner, the top laner, one of you guys take initiative and be like, all of you guys are top side. There is no danger here whatsoever. There's no danger on this side. What am I afraid of? So let's just say you're an ADC. Well, you know, my whole team's dumb, but you know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk in. Maybe we can get a pink board here or maybe somewhere back there, something like that, right? And then you are pinging your team to come over. So now your team's coming over. We're preparing for dragon, perfect. Your top laner, the, you know, top laners, Top laners don't care about nobody. But you know, you're like, okay, let's get dragon. You have a ward in the vicinity of where people are gonna walk from. So now let's think about it. Before we ward, what most likely are they gonna do, right? To get to dragon that spawns in about a minute, they have to go specific ways. The first way is probably gonna be from their, their base in the middle here. So a good ward, not here, cause that ward right there is gonna get taken out. Most likely they, they might they might see that, get a little creative. M maybe put a ward right here, right? Maybe the jungler is gonna come through and walk this way, do his gromp. You know, junglers be thirsty for some camps. You could put a ward right here. Again, you're gonna notice them walk through. You can also put a ward here. Again, you're gonna notice it. Um, if it's green, obviously they won't see it, but if it's pink, they will, cause they most likely will check it. Or another way they're going to come through is just straight from Baron, like that, right? So you have all these crazy ways for them to get into lane. If they come through this way, you're going to see them on minions, obviously. No sane person without minions are just going to go like that. That's weird. Nobody does that. Um, watch people do it after this video. Be like, coach, there's somebody who did 
Well, I can't help you. That person's mental. All right. So then we go through here, right? Or we go through here. You're going to spot him. What this does, What? remember, what? What? Well, why do we ward? We ward to gain information. What is League of Legends? A decision-based game. If we have these wards and we notice that for some reason, you know, uh, top lane is being thirsty. Maybe they're trying to stall our top laner, whatever. You know, top laners, they're a little troll sometimes, right? Now we know that there's only four people left. Okay, we push mid out because we're a responsible mid laner or ADC. So now we know someone has to catch mid. We push bot out because we know that we're a responsible bot laner. And now someone has to catch bot. Who's left to walk through this jungle? Two people, right? If we already were warding and preparing, when these two people come through, we got two cheeks clapped. I guess that's four because people got two cheeks per person. That's four cheeks clapped right there, right? Now you guys are ready for, for dragon. You guys are doing it. Now your team's like, or now their team is like, oh my God, you know, why aren't you guys here? Whatever. Mid laner thinks they just hot stuff because they 10 and 0, clapped. Bot lane thinks they hot stuff because they a bot laner, clapped. You just turn the tide of the game all because you're warded for a specific reason. Instead of fumbling around Baron, something you were not gonna get because your team is losing, you decide to go bot side because nobody's there. Nobody's there to contest your wards. You bring your team, you guys set up, and you guys turn that play around. Now, I don't wanna make this video too long. Maybe I'll have a seminar or something about just warding and we could talk about it all, but I just really wanted to hone in about what the point of wards are. It's to gain information to make a better decision. You might be wrong, but it's still giving you more of a reason to make a decision. I mean, think about it. Is it easier to make a decision when you can't see anybody or is it easier to make a decision if you're starting to see people walk on wards? We ward to gain information. So ward with the intent of gaining specific information so you can make the better decision to do what you're trying to do. I appreciate you guys being here. You know what I always say. Think you guys are doing what? Approaching this like a coach.